Hey friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. At the Detroit Auto Show this year, Buick's finally showing some signs of life, and I mean real life gusto, with a rear wheel drive muscle car coupe with 400 horsepower. Yes, indeed. You'd think everyone at Buick who's been cranking out the dead-end dross that's been landing in Sun City driveways for the past few decades has gotten fired and replaced with young Turks who actually have a pulse. The Buick Avista concept is a 2 plus 2 coupe that takes the latest design language we just saw in the lacrosse sedan at the LA Auto Show and pushes it yet further into premium car territory. And moreover, it actually sprouted some muscles. And muscle is what this Buick is all about. While the LaCrosse sedan and the Buick Avenir concept from last year showed off the brand's luxury intent, the Avista shows their performance mood for a potential future offering. Under the hood is a 3-liter twin-turbocharged V6 similar to those found in contemporary Cadillacs and likely production intent for a number of future GM models. The engine is good for 400 horsepower and would send it to the rear wheels through an 8-speed automatic transmission. The V6 has active fuel management to pull it back to four cylinders when extra power isn't needed, as well as an engine start-stop system, all to save fuel when you aren't hammering it into the asphalt. And with a 110-inch wheelbase and 63-inch track, it falls right in line with the platform architecture that underpins the Chevrolet Camaro and the Cadillac ATS. Think about that for a moment, and imagine Lincoln having the guts to build a muscle car on top of the Mustang platform. Doubt it. In fact, that brings us to what this vehicle could most likely be compared to in Seoul, and that's the Buick Regal GNX from the late 1980s. That car also had a turbocharged V6, though down in horsepower from this, it was legendary in performance back in the day. The difference here is, this Buick is likely to also be good at taking a corner. All my reminiscing aside, the design of the Avista does have the silhouette of the Camaro or the ATS hidden in there, but the surfaces and lines are all Buick. And if this is the design direction they're taking from here forward, I think they're clearly on the right track. Like most concept cars, the interior of the Avista is over the top with backlit digital wallpaper in every direction, hand sculpted aluminum trims, and the most expensive leather surfaces you're going to find outside a Prada store. That's because it's embossed with a pattern meant to mimic the sand on a beach. Cute. The center console, for instance, has a full-length touchscreen that extends all the way to the rear seat. It looks cool, but don't be spilling your coffee on it. And at the head of that console is a production intent device, the new electronic toggle shifter out of the 2017 LaCrosse they call Electronic Precision Shift. All in, I think the Avista is a pretty well mapped out car that really shows what the potential is at Buick's design studios. This is a car that I think could be the best concept at the Detroit Auto Show this year. You know, if they just build a car like this, that would do more to shake off the old people's image from the brand than any of the stupid, stupid commercials they run right now that try to tell us they're not for grandma anymore. I mean, really, just build the damn thing and you can save so much money on marketing. There's that. Oh, and you got to call it the GNX. Click on the link right here. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We test drive one, sometimes two cars every single week. Plus, we have a new video just like this one almost every day. There's always something new, so stay tuned.